Recently, I made all the My Little Pony characters in The Sims 4, and a bunch of you guys had requested that I do their human counterparts. And who am I to not give the people what they want? So today, we are going to be making the Equestria Girls in The Sims 4. Now listen up before we start. This is going to be a Sims version of the Equestria Girls. If they are not 100% accurate, shh. I don't want to hear it. Without further ado, let's start with our main character, Twilight Sparkle. First, we got to make her skin purple. By the way, all the CC I use in this video will be linked down in the description below. Don't worry. Her skin is like a pinky purple, but it's pretty light. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Let's change her eyes. Her eyes are a dark purple. I like these with the two tones of purple. I think they're really cool. I'm going to throw on this skin overlay. All right, let's get started on hair. I have a perfect hair in mind. As soon as I saw it, I was like, Twilight Sparkle, this one. Hear me out. This one just screams Twilight to me, especially because if you can see in the picture, it has highlights. You can't tell me that hair doesn't scream Twilight Sparkle. I'm gonna give her some lashes. I wanna go with more natural, so I feel like these ones from Twisted Cat are pretty good. I'm gonna throw on just a little bit of makeup, something light, because honestly, most of the Equestria girls aren't really wearing any makeup other than Rarity has some like blue eyeshadow, so I'm not gonna go crazy. I think I want maybe a little bit of a lip color though. Yeah, something like this just to darken up the lips a little bit. Maybe a blush. Do we have like a pinky purple blush? Let's go with this one just to add some dimension. In some pictures, she's wearing glasses, but for the most part, at least from what I remember from the movie, she's not wearing glasses. So we're not gonna put her in any. I'm gonna give her this earring because I feel like it kind of looks like her cutie mark just to like pay an homage to it. All right, let's move on to the fun part. Let's move on to her outfit. Twilight's outfit in the movie she's wearing like a little button up top a purple skirt some socks and some loafers so i think we're gonna try our best to copy that this shirt could be a contender what else do we have <gasps> this one is perfect oh my god this is like there is not a more perfect top for twilight sparkle wow let's get her a skirt we're probably gonna end up mixing patterns here this one's good let's see if we can do better though we could also do a plain skirt i don't know Oh, I kind of like the idea of doing a plaid skirt. I think we're gonna go with this skirt with a little belt and chain. Let's get her some socks. I like these white ones with the little stripes. Moving on to shoes. She has purple loafers on. So let's see, do we have loafers? Actually, I know I have loafers. I don't even know why I'm asking that question. Don't know if I have them in purple, but let's see. Oh, these ones are so perfect, but they're not purple. Okay, scratch that. These ones are perfect. Wow. Those ones are so cute. Let's finish off the look with some nails. I feel like Twilight wouldn't have like long nails. I feel like they would just be like short and maybe like a fun color. Yeah, cute. All right, we're all done the look. Let's move on to some traits. Obviously, Twilight's gonna have a knowledge aspiration. Let's give her the spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. Traits. Twilight's definitely a genius. Oh, the poses. She's definitely a bookworm and I'd say loyal. And with the traits all done, here is Twilight all complete. Let's move on to our next Equestria girl. I'm gonna use the same base for all of them. I'm just gonna be changing things slightly. Let's do Rarity next. I think I'm gonna change the eyes for Rarity because she has more of like a siren eye. Like she's more like, I don't know what the word is, but she doesn't have like super big wide eyes. You know what I'm saying? I think those eyes are good. Moving on to skin color. Rarity is literally just white. So this one works good. <laughs> we already has dark blue eyes. I like these ones. I think we're gonna go with those. Quickly throwing on a skin overlay. Now the hair is gonna be tricky because we don't have the right purple. Let's hope I can find a custom content hair that has a right purple. Give me a second here. I think this is the closest that I could find. Maybe we'll just say that Rarity decided to lighten her hair color. Please don't yell at me. This is all I got. This is all I got. Please don't be upset. Let's give her some lashes. I like these ones for Rarity. Moving on to makeup. We definitely need light blue eyeshadow. Shadow. Don't want to go crazy though. I want it to be tasteful. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Definitely want to do some eyeliner. I like that one. Maybe
Maybe a little bit of blush. Cute, cute. Maybe a little lipstick. Kind of like this one. Ooh, maybe if we pair it with some lip liner. Okay, I like this makeup look. Definitely want to give her an earring. I'm thinking a blue diamond, maybe. Maybe something like this, a little plum bob. Oh, I actually feel like this one is a little bit closer to her cutie mark. So I think we're gonna go with that one. Let's move on to her outfit. Now we got to put in the work for this one because Rarity is a fashionista and we want to do her proud. In the movie, it looks like she's wearing like an off the shoulder top. And we're gonna find one of those. I like this. This one's similar, but I think I like it a little bit better because it has more of like a sweater detail. Moving on, she also has a purple skirt like Twilight. I like this skirt, but I'm starting to not like the top. So I think I'm gonna change it. I also am actually starting to think that she's not wearing an off the shoulder top and it's more of just a short sleeve t-shirt. Don't know where I got off the shoulder from, but kind of a different vibe, but I feel like this is something that Rarity would definitely wear. Yeah, let's go with that top. I think I found the perfect skirt. This outfit screams Rarity to me. I don't know why, it just does. She's wearing these like long boots. So I'm definitely gonna give her some like thigh high chunky boots. Might be hard to find good ones that are the right color though. Oh, these ones are actually so accurate. What the heck? I think I'm gonna go with these ones. I gave her a pair of tights cause I feel like we need a little bit more accessories in this outfit. Gonna add a bracelet cause she is wearing a bracelet in the movie. Seems like it's just like a gold band of some sort. I feel like that one's pretty nice. Lastly, let's give her some nails. I feel like Rarity would definitely have some long, funky nails. I like these long purple ones, so I think we're gonna go with those. I'm also gonna add these white fingerless gloves, just cause. And with the look all complete, let's move on to Rarity's trait. Now there's no like fashion trait or fashion aspiration as far as I know, which is honestly strange. I feel like there should be one. Oh, okay, there's a master maker this sim wants to become an expert at fabrication. So I feel like we could do this one. It's like the closest we could get to fashion designer. Rarity is definitely creative. She's definitely self-assured and I'd say a perfectionist. And with her traits all done, this is Rarity all complete. I am sorry about the hair. I know, I know, but I'm working with what we got. Let's do Rainbow Dash. Obviously Rainbow Dash is a light blue color. I think this is actually pretty accurate, honestly. It's so bright though. <laughs> Rainbow Dash has like, magenta eyes, which means we're probably gonna be a little limited, but I feel like you could also pass her eyes off as like pink. So maybe not too limited. This like dark pink color I think is perfect. Despite Rainbow Dash's hair being rainbow, I think her eyebrows are blue. So we're just gonna do some blue eyebrows. Do something a little bit more natural. For lashes, I wanna keep it a little more natural. Once again, following that theme with, I just don't think Rainbow Dash would really be bothered to put on makeup. Moving on to hair. I downloaded a special hair for Rainbow Dash because obviously we do not have rainbow hair. Oh, Ew. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of looks terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, this was like the best one I could find though. I'm so sorry, guys. If anyone knows of a better Rainbow Dash hair CC, let me know. Let me know because this definitely ain't it. All right, I think it's safe to move on to her outfit. I'm gonna make Rainbow Dash buff. Looks like Rainbow Dash is wearing some type of like jean jacket kind of like with the sleeves cut out. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look for something that I think will work. I feel like the hair doesn't look so bad from far away, right? Or am I just gaslighting myself? I don't mind this t-shirt, but I think I'm gonna look for something else. We could go with this top. This feels like something Rainbow Dash would wear. She's also wearing a skirt, which honestly, even as a kid, I thought it was weird that she was wearing a skirt because I feel like that's just not something Rainbow Dash would do but we'll follow what they think. This skirt is the most accurate to what she's wearing in the movie. She also has shorts underneath, so I'm definitely gonna add some of those. Kind of a funky outfit, but you know, that's what she's wearing, so. <laughs> she also has some cool rainbow socks on, but I don't believe we have any rainbow socks. I have these, but I think they're a little too long. I think we're just gonna go with these ones. For shoes, she has like a sneaker boot combination, which I definitely don't think I have, but I'll look. Look, I think these are our best option. They're definitely not boots, but they're pretty chunky. For nails, we're definitely gonna go with rainbow. I feel like it would be a crime not to. And the fact that her lips and her face are the same color is kind of starting to bother me. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of lipstick just to darken her lips. Yeah, just like that there. That's so much better in my opinion. <laughs> this fit is definitely out of my comfort zone for traits. Well, it's already got the aspiration bodybuilder, which I feel like Rainbow Dash would 
definitely want to do that. For traits, Rainbow Dash is definitely active. She's definitely outgoing. Let's do ambitious as well. And that is our Rainbow Dash. I'm feeling like I want to do Fluttershy. Obviously, Fluttershy is yellow. So <laughs> she's like highlighter yellow. My lord. I don't know about that. I guess we'll go with that one. She's, yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate, honestly. Fluttershy has like these really pretty light blue eyes. <gasps> I kind of love these ones for her. Yeah, let's do those ones. Definitely a soft brow is needed here. We're gonna do those. For hair, we're gonna do something by Miko because she has this like perfect light pink color. So we're gonna do one of her hairstyles. <gasps> This hairstyle is so stinking cute. We definitely gotta do this one for Fluttershy. I think Fluttershy is gonna be my favorite. Wanna do a light lash for sure, but I kind of like these ones. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with these ones. Something different. Definitely need some lip gloss and some blush. I think I'm gonna use the same lip gloss that I used on Rarity. I have to do a skin overlay blush because all these blushes kind of look a bit weird on her. The only blush that looks okay on her is a yellow one from Sim Andy. Even that looks a little funny. So I don't think we're going to be able to put any on her because look, you can like see where it is, which hate that. We're not going to do blush. I still think she's cute without the blush. Moving on to accessories. Definitely want to get little butterfly earrings maybe. Oh, Ooh, these ones are cute. Yeah, let's go with those ones. Moving on to Fluttershy's outfit. I realize that like most of them are wearing white tops. I think I want to go for something like this. For bottom, she's wearing a green. They're all wearing skirts. Why? I actually really like this top. I think I want to do this and pair it with a undershirt and also a green skirt. Actually, I might do a pink skirt. Yeah, I kind of like the pink better. She has pink polka dot socks on. Do I have anything that's like that? I have these pink ones that match the skirt. She's got green boots on. I know these aren't boots, but I kind of like them with this outfit. I feel like it's very Fluttershy. They have some little flowers on them. Lastly, let's give her some little short pink nails. Moving on to traits and aspirations. Definitely want to go with friend of the animals because that's very Fluttershy. Fluttershy loves the outdoors. If she was a human, she's definitely a vegetarian. And lastly, let's give her the animal that enthusiast. Boy. And that's Fluttershy. I'm so happy with how she turned out. Next, I think think I want to do Pinkie Pie. Let's get a pink skin tone. I think that's pretty accurate. Pinkie Pie has blue eyes, so let's get her some of those. like these ones for her. They have little sparkles in them. I might do these pink lashes. I think they're kind of fun. I like those brows. So let's do those. And we need super curly hair. This one from Clumsy Alien is perfect. Let's do a little bit of fun makeup. I think I like this like hot pink eyeliner to match her lashes. Definitely need some blush. Ooh, this one's cute. Give her a little bit of pink lip gloss. Maybe some fun earrings. I feel like Pinkie Pie would definitely rock some pink llama earrings. So let's give her those. And now for the fun part, the outfit. Now in the outfit, she's wearing like a t-shirt and like a cardigan type thing over it. I don't know. I might go rogue with this one. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like Pinkie Pie would definitely wear a tie-dye shirt like this. So I think I'm gonna go with this one for the shirt. And I kind of want to go for some like funky pink pants instead of a skirt because we've given them all skirts. <gasps> These pants with the smiley faces on them. This screams Pinkie Pie. Moving on to shoes. She's wearing blue boots in the picture, but yeah. we'll see. I might give her just some like sneakers. Yeah, I like these ones. Her fingernails, gonna give her some nail polish. Cute, cute. And I think that's our Pinkie Pie look all done. Let's move on to trait. I think party animal is a very fitting trait for Miss Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is most definitely a goofball. She's cheerful <laughs> and childish. And that's Pinkie Pie. I know I went rogue on the outfit, but I think it looks really good, actually. We only got two more ponies left. It's time for my favorite, Miss Applejack. Now, should I do orange? I feel I feel like it's only right. I know this isn't orange, but I don't know what is the most accurate. We'll do this one. Applejack has green eyes, so let's give her some of those. Ooh, I like these ones for her. Gotta give Applejack some freckles. And Applejack's obviously gonna be a blonde. I'm thinking we go for either like a braid or maybe a ponytail. This hair is perfect, what the heck? I just randomly stumbled across it, but this is actually spot on. I'm gonna maybe give her like a brown lash, a little bit more natural. Natural. And you know, you know we gotta give her a cowboy hat. Good thing we have some from the horse pack. 
because I think other than that, I probably would not have any cowboy hats. This one is spot on. Moving on to the fit. Definitely want to tap into the stuff from the new horse ranch pack because I feel like that's going to be perfect for this. Doing this is making me want to watch the Equestria Girls movie again. I haven't seen it in years. Now that is so accurate. Wow. I also like the flannel. I need chaps and I need them right now. Obviously we need cowboy boots. Duh. And I think think that's it for the look i kind of killed it i know you don't gotta tell me twice i think we're gonna give applejack the expert nectar maker aspiration in the show she owns an apple farm so i feel like that makes oh, sense Baba. applejack definitely loves the outdoors she's most definitely loyal and i'll give her the self-assured trait as well i think applejack might be coming for fluttershy as my favorite i don't know last but definitely not least sunset shimmer i thought it was important to add her because she is like a huge character in the movie yeah we'll do more of this orange color I think. Give her some evil eyebrows. Sunset Shimmer has very light blue eyes so let's give her some of those. Those are nice. Those are nice. All right I like those lashes. Her hair is like red with yellow highlights. I think I have a hair in mind. We'll see how it works out though. Yeah I think we're gonna go with this hair. Definitely gonna give her some dark makeup. Maybe some lipstick. Let's try some blush. It might not look right though. Actually, that looks great. <laughs> Moving on to fit. Sunset Shimmer has like a little like punk rock look going on, which I'm obsessed with. So definitely gonna go hard on this outfit. This shirt is exactly what I'm looking for. I want a leather jacket. I think I'm gonna go for this like dark brown color. Her <laughs> skirt that she's wearing is like a magenta. Don't know if I'm gonna stay true to that. We'll have to see. Um, But I have an idea for the skirt. I think I'm gonna go with this skirt. It's definitely not magenta, but it's like a maroon. So I feel like it's a compromise. I don't know, it looks good with the shirt. I don't know. And she's got on some big old chunky boots. I think these ones are perfect. Let's finish her off with some nails. Go with these dark red ones. Moving on to traits. I think I'm gonna give Sunset Shimmer leader of the pack. We're going off her villain self. I know that in later movies she becomes one of their friends, but we're going off the first movie where she's the villain, okay? So we're gonna give her mean. We're gonna give her hot-headed and evil. And that is Sunset Shimmer all complete, which means we finished all of the Equestria Girls. Only took me almost two hours. <laughs> to jog your memory, here is Sunset Shimmer, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Twilight Sparkle. Pretty sure my favorite is either Sunset Shimmer or Fluttershy. Like always, these will be on the gallery. You just have to find them under modded content, but you will have to download the CC in order for them to look the way they do. Like always, you can find me on the gallery under Ryoasim or hashtag Ryoasim or hashtag Ryoa. And if you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much to everyone who requested I do the Equestria Girls. If you like this video, there'll be a link to a playlist that has all of my creative sim videos at the end of the video. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, you can leave them in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. And if you can, maybe become a member. You get to see my videos up to a day early so maybe consider it and with all that being said I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time bye